What are some common applications of AI in everyday life? It's a very basic question, but something that's quite compelling and interesting. So, you know, whether we believe it or not, you'll be surprised to know that AI is integrated into many aspects of everyday life, often in ways that are not immediately obvious. Um, and, you know, let me sort of state some of those uses that might be hidden from all of us. You know, the first is email filtering and spam detection. Whether it's Gmail or any one of these other email services out there, they often use AI algorithms to filter out spam and perhaps also to categorize emails. Um, you know, machine learning models, they analyze email, they analyze their content as well to predict whether a message is, is spam or legitimate. And then, you know, these improve over time as they learn uh, from other user interactions and input. Another area is smart assistants, like voice assistants such as um, Siri or Alexa or, or, the, or Google Assistant. Uh, they all use AI to understand and process voice commands, uh, often as inputs. And they provide users with responses and thereby also can perform certain tasks, uh, such as sending reminders, controlling your lights, or, or even playing music. Um, content recommendation systems, whether we're watching Netflix or Amazon Prime or, or Spotify or Deezer or any of these other uh, uh, you know, services, they often use AI to recommend shows and movies as well as music. And they're all often based on user preferences and behavior. Um, now, these recommendation systems analyze viewing patterns or listening history, and then they suggest content uh, to users that they are likely uh, to enjoy. Uh, another area is personalized advertising. So ad targeting is a you know, constantly evolving ecosystem. So on platforms like Facebook and Google, um, AI is usually employed to deliver personalized ads. Um, again, AI analyzes user data, including browsing history, uh, perhaps even some of your online behavior, uh, to display those ads that are relevant to individual users. Um, I did mention Alexa and Siri early on, but you know, smart home devices, they're a whole category of home automation systems, um, whether they're Nest thermostats or Ring doorbells. Uh, they often use AI to learn user habits uh, and preferences, again, optimizing energy usage or, or enhancing some of your home security needs. Uh, for example, smart thermostats adjust temperatures based on learned patterns uh, of occupancy. Um, a well-known area is customer service chatbots. I, I think these have been around for a while. These are usually automated chatbots, uh, often found on websites and apps. Uh, they use AI to handle customer inquiries. Um, they often provide immediate responses as well as you know, basic support. And these chatbots are evolving. And they use a, a field of AI called natural language processing, NLP, uh, to understand and respond to customer uh, questions. Uh, in the banking and financial ecosystem, there's fraud detection. Um, this is being used heavily nowadays to detect uh, fraudulent tasks to do what's called KYC or AML. Uh, machine learning models uh, analyze transaction patterns and data as well as user behaviors, and they flag anomalies that might indicate fraudulent transactions or fraud in general. Um, you know, many of our photo and video editing software, uh, like Adobe Photoshop or Premiere Pro, uh, they all use AI to automate tasks such as removing backgrounds, you know, enhancing images, um, stabilizing videos um, in, in video um, uh, constructs. So in those cases, AI algorithms can analyze visual content or subjects within context, and they make adjustments uh, that would otherwise take much longer if we were to do those manually. Um, an old use case is traffic and uh, navigation and, and prediction in general. So, you know, navigation applications like Google Maps and, and Waze uh, often use AI to predict traffic conditions and suggest optimal routes or optimal times. Uh, these applications, you know, are analyzing real-time data from various sources, usually from the applications that users have embedded, uh, to provide more downstream accurate traffic updates uh, and estimated travel times. Uh, a, a common case that you know, I've used many, many times in the past is the e-commerce personalization engines. Um, in this case, you know, online retailers have built, um, you know, for example, like Amazon or, or others as well, uh, have utilized artificial intelligence to personalize the shopping experience. So these are recommendation engines. They're usually AI-driven. Uh, they suggest products on past purchases, very similar to uh, sort of the early examples I gave, uh, browsing history and user preferences. So by seamlessly integrating these you know, uh, everyday applications, 
um, AI is now embedded and is enhancing some of these user experiences and providing more personalized, uh, efficient, and secure services, quite often without us being overtly uh, um, uh, aware of this happening in the background.